हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज क्लास फिफ्थ इंग्लिश यूनिट एट हेज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स बाय यूजिंग करेक्ट वर्ड्स कंटेनिंग ट्राइग्राफ्स सो हियर वी हैव टू फिल दिस ब्लैंक्स विथ ट्राइग्राफ्स आर द वर्ड्स आर गेवन इन बॉक्सेस सो वी हैव टू टेक एन अवॉर्ड द करेक्ट वर्ड uh and with the help of that word we have to fill the blanks so a there is food in the fridge here right uh fridge uh next is the chicken the chick will dash soon h soon c a dash is made of trees h a h is made of trees next is she will dash the ball catch she will catch the ball next is uh, cats like to scratch uh, the correct word is scratch cats like to scratch next is a cop has a badge next is a dash has a tall black hat a witch a witch has a tall black hat and the last one is dash is a sweet treat fudge fudge is a sweet treat next is grammar portion verb and tense verb and tense most verbs are action words they tell us what people animals or things are doing so a verb is a word that shows an action it tells about what people animals or things are doing here are example these all are verbs knock burst climb drop read dig drive act jump pull run and shout these all are verbs and all these verb uh, all these verbs show an action here is a present simple present tense simple present tense expresses a general truth or a habitual action present simple tense shows a general truth or a habitual action examples are the sun rises in the east uncle javed wears glasses so here are formula for simple present tense subject plus verb with first form of verb with s r e s and object so here are blanks pick one suitable verb to fill in the blanks zenab dash reading a book starts zenab starts reading a book next is i dash to library daily i go to library daily the correct option is go the next sentence is the train dash so much noise the train creates so much noise So the next sentence is we dash the needy we help the needy and the last sentence is my mother dash me my mother loves me here is a verb but these are not action verbs m is an r m is an r are also verbs but not action verbs Here is a table to help you remember how to use m is and r so with he she it and singular noun we use is and with i we use m and with you we they in plural noun we use r here is i am we are in negative i am not we are not you are 
in the singular and plural both are same you are and you are in negative you are not and in plural uh, plural negative you are not this is singular negative and this is plural negative both are same you are not and you are not he is it is this is singular and these are plural they are they are for he we use they and for it plural we use they for he a plural we use they for it a plural we use they and in singular negative it he is not it is not and in plural negative they are not they are not here are more explanation we use the verb is with singular nouns and are with plural nouns as i have told you that we use is with he she it and singular noun and m with i and are with you we they in plural noun the camel is a desert animal so here the camel is singular so we use is the camel is Kamal is a lawyer. So Kamal is a singular noun. We use is. Tommy is a clever dog. So Tommy is a singular noun. So we use is. A duck is a kind of bird. Duck is singular. So with singular noun we use is. So friends here you see the Kamal, Kamal, Tommy and duck are our singular noun. So with singular noun we use is. Here are plural nouns. Lambs are baby sheep, vegetables and fruits are healthy foods, these questions are too difficult, and the balloons are colorful. So here look, lambs, vegetables and fruits, questions and balloons are our plural nouns. So with plural noun we use are. Next is we use is and are with the word there. To say what we can see are here so we also use is and are with there it depends on a sentence there is a nest in the tree so nest is plural so with this we use is here with there there's a castle on the hill so castle is a singular so therefore we use is with there and there is a fence around the school here, fence is singular, so with singular we use is with there. Here are plural noun. Uh, there are some clouds in the sky, so clouds are plural, so with there we use are. There are a lot of books in the library. Here, books are plural, so therefore we use are with there. And are there any apples left on the tree? So here, apples are plural. So therefore we use here in question mark R with there. So friends, I hope you understand these verbs. Is R M is R and M. Next question is read the paragraph uh, uh, underline all verbs. The first two lines are done for you. So here are verbs we have to unlearn, underline all these verbs so here first one is done cycling next uh, word is lost this is a verb lost fell helped getting up took bandaged asked to take got and run all these are verbs so underline these verbs in your book next question is punctuate and capitalize these sentences correctly here first uh, question is given ask him come here at once so here we have to capitalize and punctuate ask him come here at once so here a will be capital and put comma after here and exclamation mark at the end of the sentence next question is oh i hurt my leg 
so here put punctuation mark after O I hurt my leg and uh, so pull put full stop at the end of the sentence next is there are a lot of books in the library so T will be capital there are a lot of books in the library put uh, full stop at the end of the sentence I ate bread egg apple in breakfast so here right I ate bread comma egg comma apple in breakfast put comma after bread and egg and the last one is are uh, there apples left on, uh, on the tree so capitalize a are there apples left on the tree and put question mark at the end of the sentence next is possessive pronouns possessive pronouns are words used to indicate that something belongs to someone friends possessive pronouns ye hame malkiyat show karta hai malkiyat zahir karta hai ki koi cheez kis ka hai for example mine yours his hers all these are possessive pronouns and here are examples her parents were far more liberal than mine so mine is a possessive pronoun it shows or uh, it tells about parents next is you probably picked up my keys instead of yours so here yours is possessive pronoun and it tells about you and keys next is uh, his this watch belongs to him it is his so his is a possessive pronoun and the last one is this is sarah's dress it is hers so hers tells about sarah's dress so next is here are mcqs uh, blanks given right possessive pronouns to complete the given sentences so we have to take words from these boxes and fill in the correct blank next uh, first number is the shirt is on my bed it is mine the next is the girl lost her big pick it was hers next is their dress belongs to me it is mine next is aniba has a barbie doll it is hers e bilal and fahad lost their puppy it was theirs the next sentence is does the purse belongs to you is it yours the next sentence is aram bought a new dress it is hers and the last one is maliha and saba share a car it is theirs so do these uh, blanks in your book the next question is past tense verbs regular and irregular verbs play played talk talked share shared so friends regular verbs are uh, those verbs which are constructed by adding d r e d we put d r e d at the end of a verb to make it sing uh, second form or third form here played talked shared all these are regular verbs and irregular verbs are those verb uh which do not have this rule we do not put ed or d at the end of a verb example bring brought win won go went till told do did drink drank teach thought run ran make made so this is a difference between regular and irregular verbs regular verbs end with ed and irregular verbs do not 
end with ed and here next is some more stay the same these are these were stay the same in first second or uh, third farms hit hit cost cost cut cut quit quit hurt hurt put and put all these are same in sing second form as well as in third form okay the next question is filling the blanks with the past form of verb the main run to catch the train the correct option is ran the main ran to catch the train the next is the children sang the song loudly sang is the right option next is the married couple draw the car slowly the right option is draw next is the women ate their lunch together the right option is ate next is she dived into the water number f she rode her bicycle to work today the next sentence is the woman drank from the cup the next sentence is he caught the fish the right option is caught and the last sentence is the children went down the slide so here you have to put second form of verb in these blanks so all these are second form ran sang draw ate dived wrote drank cut and went these all are second forms of verb okay the next question is listening and speaking introduce yourself and your friend in the class so this is uh, introduction class so practice this question in your class with students so friends these were questions related to verbs uh, related to simple present tense and re related to past tense i hope you got a little bit guidance and help from this video keep watching videos thanks for watching